hello everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to create a certificates in azure key vault i'm now navigating to the my azure key vault open the key vault and navigate to the objects and click on certificates over here under certificates you can uh, generate your own certificates so once once you click on generate uh, give any appropriate name for your certificate let's say my first SSL cert and then you, you have choice either you can generate a self-signed certificate but it's not useful or not recommended at all but for testing purpose you can uh, experiment with this option then you have option certificate issued by integrated CA so Azure already have integration with uh, two external CAs that you can leverage uh, uh, for uh, this option like integrated CA option and third one is non-integrated CA so over here you can choose your third-party CA as well so if you want to use integrated CA if you you, you can see uh, it will appearing CA certificate authority not configured so let me click over here now it navigating to the certificate authority if you click on add it add you can see uh, uh, Azure having a type with DG cert and global sign. So if you have uh, that CA already in your uh, company, you can use your account uh, and you can integrate your existing CA. If, if you don't have that one, go back. Let me go back and over here you can choose your own CA, non-integrated CA. That also fine. So I'm choosing non-integrated CA because I don't have a DG cert or global sign so I'm creating my first request cnmyassert1 dot in then choose the validity period it's up to you what validity period you want to choose and the content type format if you want to use pkcs12 you can use that option or ping it's your choice then advanced policy configuration you can configure the Key uses over here by cho choosing this drop down box as per your requirement. I'm adding, let's say, non repetition. And then you want to pri export the private key, you can make it that option enable. Do you want to use reuse the key on renewal? That also you can choose the option, or if you want to generate the new key, new key pair, you can choose the no. Then choose the key type uh, algorithm and the key size. and click on OK so likewise you can generate a certificate signing request by clicking on create so now my certificate signing request is completed now I'm going back to the key vault go to the navigate to the certificates you can see the request is in progress so that is my certificate signing request currently is in progress and it's not enabled because it's not yet been completed click on that certificate request go to the certificate operation now from that option once you navigate you'll find the download CSR option so from there you can download your CSR so I'm putting my certificate CSR 1 on and I'm putting on desktop so you can see uh, I downloaded the my certificate signing request I'm opening for better visibility you can see begin certificate request and end certificate request so the CSR format is correct now I need to open my external CA so first I need to copy this CSR onto my external CA so my external CA I'm using Microsoft CA that is hosted on uh, my uh, another network uh, on another machine actually so I'm going to copy that file onto my CSR bar. CSR file. <coughs> so let's copy that file onto my CSR bar. Now I copied that file. Now I'm navigating to the my CA server. So on Windows server I hosted my CA. I'm going to this to my CA and just click on uh, submit a new request and open the, the file you, we just created the certificate signing request so this is my certificate signing request i'm clicking on open now my certificate 
request is pending with CA that I'm going to issue in just now. The request ID is 30. So let's go to the issued certificate and open the certificate just issued by my CA. My cert one that the certificate issued and try to copy the file. Now my certificate is completed and I have the certificate. So I'm going to save on my C drive on CS server. This way you can complete uh, use the Microsoft Azure Key Vault to generate a CA request, so CSR request and certificate request and you can fulfill with your any third party non-integrated CA. So just now we have created my cert one. Now I'm going to show you the certificate issued by my CA PRCA to PRCA certificate dot one in the, the certificate key uses whatever we added that is will be appear over here and the path of the certificate are correct so to manage this certificate again uh, what we need to do we need to copy upload that certificate onto my Azure Key Vault so now I'm copying that certificate onto my desktop and that I'm going to upload onto Azure Key Vault now I'm closing this operation from here and go back to the certificate. Now the certificate request is not bit completed at Azure Key Vault side because uh, the certificate completed certificate we haven't uploaded yet. So to upload your a certificate, uh, you need to click on your certificate request, go to the certificate operation and click the option merge sign request. So over here you can browse the, your certificate and I'm browsing that one and does, that way you can complete your certificate request and now you can see the certificate status showing as completed and just I'm refreshing the screen now you can see the certificate is enabled and that certificate is is under my key vault and from here I can manage my certificate I can configure the certificate operation issuations policy so i can configure expiry date as per my wish i can choose advanced configuration i can choose option reuse the key on renewal i can customize private key not exportable whatever i can that that customization i can do and i'm making this save now you can see that the changes has been adopted this way you can manage your certificate lifecycle management in Azure Key Vault for your certificates. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestion or any comment, uh, feel free to comment in the comment box. Thanks for watching.